turd there, turds all underneath here, turds there, lots of pee in here. And I'm in a basement, but it has a structural wood floor because of expansive soils. You can see there's mold. Easy guys, holy cow. Hey, this is the inside of the fixer upper flipper house. Why did I name it that? Because it, the same principles that a fix and flipper use are the same principles that this property management business investor group is also using. Get it presentable, take it from a dilapidated dump and get it presentable, list it on the market and sold. They were supposed to move out yesterday. This house was supposed to be completely vacant. They're still living here. They're living here for a whole nother week. So the schedule just got pushed back. I just met with the property manager to get the list. Well, they live here, so I really don't want to be in here. I mean, I'll take you around and you will see why I don't want to be in here. There's so much crap in here, so much stuff to work around. So first part of this video is a tour, a tour of a dump rental. This rents for $2,450 per month. Replace these two lights with lights that look like this and this. This is the renter's wall repair. So I gotta fix that up. And we're going down. Vader and Luke, the Pomeranians. This is their bathroom. Yes, that is actual dog poop on the floor there. Over here. Um, not much for me to do in here, except I have to address all the baseboard. We'll get to that. A lot of these little corner pieces have been kicked off. You can see this door drags on the carpet. That's not on the list, but I'm sure it will be sooner or later. Have you guys ever seen one of those? That is not a wall sconce. That's a ceiling light fixture attached to the side of a wall. Okay, this is the basement. I've got to do a few wall repairs and ceiling repairs. Right here at the bottom of the stairs, it's, there's a dip. And keep in mind, I have a list. I just went around and wrote down everything the property manager wants me to do. He wants me to put a little bit of self-leveler right there. I'm guessing it's, it could be a worn out pad, but what I'll do is I'll pull this carpet back, see what's there, and I may be pouring in some self-leveler right there on top of the subfloor. All the baseboard, you can see, um, I didn't do this. I just, this is not my job. I want to make sure people understand that. Um, you can see none of the baseboard is caulked or nailed really in here. I won't be painting. Uh, there, this whole house gets a paint job. This, this is going to blow your mind. Hopefully the camera gives you good depth perception here. I told the guy, I don't know what the heck is going on here, but it's been caulked with two different colors. There's two separate colors of silicone on here. I don't know if you guys can get an idea of what happened here. You can almost see inside here, um, but I am not allowed to retile this wall. The only thing I'm allowed to do, scrape off this caulking, and grout this giant crack. Again, all the baseboard needs to be caulked in. You can see right down here, we got these little pieces missing. This is the furnace room. It's, it's disgusting. There's this broken saddle valve right there. There's lots of things that are going to come up on the home inspection. Okay, another problem. I have to take all this carpet, cut it and pull it back to here. And they want me to kills this whole with primer. Kills this whole area and both sides of that crawl space axis. This may be confusing to some people. This is a basement. I'm in a basement. But it has a structural wood floor because of expansive soils. Um, you can see there's mold. We have an empty sump pit. But somehow there's mold 
growing around here. I'm not sure if it's leaking through this wall from the shower. Could he, could easily be coming over from the shower. Um, underneath the carpet pad, it doesn't look too bad. But that's part of my job. I gotta cover this up so, because there are people still living here. <clears throat> I think that's it for the basement. Now, this is how people live. And, and keep in mind, this is $2,450 a month in rent. Hey there, doggy. Can I come by? Good doggy. I'm just going to walk by you. Don't bite me. Oh, ankle biters. There we go. There's another one. Probably be straightening that shelf out after they move out. This is the, I guess you call this the hall bath. This is not a rustic light fixture. That used to be either chrome or brass and somehow that rusted. So I'll be replacing this light fixture. You gotta replace these switches, sw or switch plates. Want me to rub oil on this to clean that rust off. They want me to replace the towel bar with chrome. It's a nice clean tub. I'm gonna take a bath in there later. Okay, this is the master. Is there any lights in here that work? I don't know. This is the master bedroom. And we're getting to the infamous, notorious GFI. This here controls all the exterior outlets as well as the garage outlets. They all home run back to here and, and connect to the load side of that GFI. Okay, this is the water closet. Lou, so they want me to sand and put a little bit of lacquer on that. Replace the towel bar and nothing in there, I think. Oh, Jesus. A little dog came up out of, I don't know where. Hey, most likely once this is cleaned, they're going to have me come back and recock all the showers and tubs. This little dog wants to play or something. Right, let's turn these lights off. Turn there. What is this? Oh, this is a closet. So nothing going on in there. Child doggy. Can't remember if there was anything in this. This is a bedroom. Only thing in here is going through and making sure all the baseboard is tight and caulked in. Gotta make sure I don't close one of these little dogs under these rooms here. There's another bedroom, very tiny, teeny tiny bedrooms. Uh, same thing with this room is just uh, the baseboard once they move out. So I'm not even gonna mess with the baseboard until they move out. This could be a nice house. There it literally is little, what, what are these little dogs called? What are you guys called? Pomeranians. Little Pomeranian turds everywhere. Turd there, turds all underneath here, turds there. Lots of pee in here. They just put your, their clothes right down on it. Uh, the garage, that's right. We gotta go back out to the garage. Uh, there is this cabinet. Obviously I gotta reattach that cabinet. Uh, they want me to foam that little hole there. This is just the garage, it's kind of bowing in. Uh, foam those cracks in the siding up there. They were very happy with my paint job. Hey, remember that freezer? Freezer's gone. They still have this. And it's still plugged in here. So this is typically what a fix and flip looks like. Often it's much worse than this. This house is getting all paint, all carpet, and a cleanup job. My list is only two pages, about the handwritten right now. It's gonna be five to, it's probably gonna be five to six pages by the time the realtor comes through and does her inspection. Uh, this is just the first pass. But the point is to show you what's out there, what the real world is. A lot of people watch those HGTV shows and you see similar houses. Uh, but there, it, it, this is real, real life here. I'm in a, a nice neighborhood. 
Um, I will tell you in the next video what this house is going to list for. Um, they still have to do the comps and a meeting with the property manager and the realtor to come up with a, uh, an asking price. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and we will discuss discuss it. I'm guessing 490, 510. I haven't I haven't done comps in this this neighborhood. I do spend about three hours a week on Zillow in this whole area. I do it's about a 40 mile diameter. I'm always on Zillow once a week, sometimes twice a week, just doing research on property values. If you're curious. I'm buying all the materials. I'm buying the light fixtures, buying all the caulking, uh, buying the towel bars, switch plates. I still have not invoiced for the first time I was here working on some outside items. Now there are more outside items. When the roofers replace the step flashing, they literally like just beat the siding with the hammer and smashed it all up to get the old step flashing out to put the new step flashing in. So I've got to do quite a bit of siding repair with Bondo. Pomeranian poopy.